Hi, my friend Susan Rojas and I, Andres Sarini, we're going to show you a short video about bridges, kind of bridges, and how does it work. I hope you like it. What is a bridge? A bridge is a structure built to span a physical obstacles such as a body of water, valley, or road, for the purpose of providing passage over the obstacle. We have some type of bridges. Beam bridge. It's a kind of bridge with spans are that are continuously supported by beams. Those bridges are usually made of steel, wood or concrete. Their structural form is known as simple support. Cantilever bridges. This is a bridge built using cantilever. Those cantilevers are your horizontal structure support only on one end. Truss bridge. It is a bridge built with trusses. This truss is a structure of connect elements forming triangular units. Arc bridge it is one of the most popular type of bridges. The basic principle of arc bridge is its curved design, which doesn't push load forts straight down, but instead they are combined along the curve of the arc to the support on each end. Tight arc bridge. This is an arc bridge in which the outward directed horizontal force of the arc or top short are borne as tension by the bottom short. Suspension bridge. It is a type of bridge in which the deck is hung below suspension cables on vertical suspenders. Cable state bridge. This is a type of bridge which cables support the bridge deck with tension. That kind of bridge could have one or more towers or pillar. But what is the use of bridges? Bridges create a connection between two different places. Because of them, many nations have been witnesses of the movement of for information, activities and technology from one place like an island, mountain or any remote location to another place. Also, the bridges have helped many nations to expand their territory in order to re reinforce their economy, culture and other important issues. The Ad Bridge, also known as Sava Bridge. It is a cable state bridge over the Sava River in Belgrade, Serbia, designed with a span of 900 meters, a single tower of 200 meters height, 80 tension cables, a flat surface of 44 meters wide and 8,000 tons of weight. After almost 11 years of NATO bombing to Belgrade, with almost 46,000 bombs dropped in three months, the city was largely destroyed, losing their only two bridges, leaving the city virtually off. The Sava River Bridge is the first built almost in 30 years. In Belgrade, a decade after the war, the economy grew and attracted 300,000 people to move there. With that large demographic explosion, the urban requirements merited its further expansion. Considering that Belgrade has the worst traffic in Europe, Local and international experts in urban planning created the most ambitious campaign in urban redevelopment history, considering the development, modernization and progress in ingenuity. It is a suspension bridge because it is supported by an inverted arch formed by several steel cables from which the bridge's deck is suspended by a vertical basis. Nevertheless, it is a suspension bridge unlike any other. On a regular suspension bridge, tension cables are supporting the roof of movement and transferring the entire weight over two or more towers. However, in the Saba Bridge, the designers decided to build a single tower to bear the entire load. Ideally, it should be placed in the middle of the bridge, in order to balance the tension of the cables and keep the tower balanced but the location of the only place solid enough to support this unique tower of 60,000 tons, the island of Ada, produces an imbalance in the arch. 
the first thing you see is that the structure is completely uneven. It is an asymmetric bridge. However, the choice of doing it in that way has nothing to do with aesthetics, but more with geography. The island of Ada, the logical place to put the main tower, is located 198 meters from the old Belgrade and 381 meters from the new Belgrade. So the main arch of the bridge is almost twice as long as the secondary arch which would make the central column to lean towards the new Belgrade. Therefore, it will be a safety problem. However, to prevent that from happening, the main arch was built with lightweight steel, while the secondary was manufactured with high-density cement. It's almost twice as heavy because it is half of the length of this. So, although the bridge looks asymmetrical, the reality is that it is in perfect balance. With 8 kilometers of new highways that connect the center of Belgrade, the old Belgrade, with the current commercial axis, the new Belgrade, separated by the 60 meters wide Sava River, is the Sava Bridge. Steel was also used and its requirements were 1,600 kilometers, 300 workers from all over the world worked on this project. It was designed for running 200,000 cars, trains, pedestrians and cyclists. The competition for the preliminary design of the bridge was held in 2004. Twelve companies submitted bids, with the winning design by, by the Slovenian company Ponting. The bridge designers were the architects Viktor Markelj and Peter Gabriel Jelsic. Construction began in 2008 and ended in 2011. The bridge was open to public traffic on the 1st of January of 2012. There are only advantages of this bridge for Belgrade. It significantly congests the existing Serbian traffic by passing through the city center connecting the new Belgrade with the old one. This bridge is part of the new urbanized center, which is also very near to the third metro line in the city, connecting around Novi Grad with the mentioned urban center. The supporting cables of the bridge are located in strategic places. While most of the bridges are held with cables located on either side to block the side lines, here they intended that the main wires will be located on the center of a bridge to create the excellent view and distance of the city. The problem is that this will generate an unstable bridge. Thus, the problem was solved considering that in the middle of the bridge there are two railway <coughs> lines traveling in opposite directions. The trains are very heavy to withstand the way form works, therefore two giant steel beams were built under the platform. On the side there are three vehicle lanes on each side, the way is supported on two cantilevers. levers. It all relates to the conveyage holding. All other age on each side there are bike paths and pedestrian streets that are supported by small steel extensions. Thank you for your attention. We really hope you liked our video.